and I was surprised at how quickly and easily the solar system was installed, especially since um, uh, probably a few houses down the road at the same time was getting ESCOM installed. It was a really good feeling to watch them digging poles into the ground and putting up cables and um, our panels just went up onto the roof and took us two days. A couple of months ago Charlotte and her family came into specialized solar systems and she told me that she was building a new house out in the crags and she wanted to find out what it would be what it would cost firstly and what it would be like to have a solar system an off the grid solar system for her house. And she'd been given a, a quotation from ESCOM to bring power to the property. Well, the, the ESCOM quote was around 50,000 Rand, just because we are on a small holding and we're quite far away from any um, available cables. And that is before we um, got a quote for an electrician to take the electrical cables from the ESCOM line into the house. Specialized solar systems quote was for 116,000. And I think ultimately, although I never got the second electrician's quote, it would have been roughly the same. So we decided to go for solar because we think it's um, alternative energy is the way forward for conservation and for the planet. Basically what we've got here, she's got a 3 kVA Victron 24 volt inverter. Um, she's got six, six 250 watt panels on the roof, which is going to give her average 6 to 8 kilowatt hours a day. We've got 600 amp hour 2 volt millennium cell batteries. We've got a 70 amp Victron charge controller, which is the MPPT. Um, on that, for safety, we put on a uh, 100 amp hour breaker on our batteries. We've got DC surge protection, which will protect it from, from lightning. We've got a 63 amp um, DC surge, uh, circuit breaker for the, for the panels itself. This is the battery monitor. Battery monitor will tell how many amp which is coming from the panel to charge the batteries, the wattage of the panels. Um, amp hours left in your batteries. And they've been using using the system now for what? About two months, I guess. Two months, yeah. Yes. So now, um, Melissa, what what is it like having electricity in your house now? It's nice. Is it good, eh? Mm -hmm. huh? Do you have lights? Yeah. And do you have cold cold drinks in your fridge? Yes. Is that working? And you, it works. Callum, what's it like having electricity in your house? <laughs> Okay. But I have to say that it's lovely being able to turn a light on in the dark and know that we are turning the sun on <laughs> rather than burning up the coal from, from open cast mines. So we've been very happy. Uh, we haven't had a single complication with the power supply yet, which we haven't connected all of, all of our appliances and things. We're doing them one by one. We're just taking it slowly and getting used to the system. It's also very rewarding being conscious of how much power you use instead of just putting on a hairdryer, putting on the toaster, putting on the microwave. It's, it's good to be aware of how we interact with, um, with the world around us. So, so far we haven't run out of power. We've always had lights, we've always had our computers working. iPads are charged, which the kids are happy about. <laughs> and the fridge, everything's working fine.